generally during the summer we go back to our houseboat for a couple of months and this way we get an opportunity to enjoy Lake Lanier in Georgia uh, we go see our doctors and get all the annual checkups done and it gives Dave an opportunity to do some maintenance but it's not all fun and games we're Dave and Karen from Locks on Wheels and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full-time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy-duty truck Leroy, our two k motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. Well, it's not all fun and games when you own an RV and live in it. And on our staycation, Dave went to work doing stuff on the truck, the RV, and the other toys that we own. This was Dave's to-do list and it kept growing as we kept finding things that needed to be done and we would add them on here. And there's a whole bunch of other things that aren't even on this list. What you doing now, Dave? Fixing the torn awning. Well, I thought you were going to buy a new one. I tried. Dometic ain't giving them up. Dometic can't get one out of Dometic. Good they moved to Mexico and got everything screwed up and they don't know what they're doing. So you're going to use some Gorilla Tape. Got to do something. Yeah. Leroy makes a good ladder too. Yeah. That one just the same ripped out, didn't it? Yeah. It's a little crack. Warm. What you doing now, Dave? Looking for ants. <laughs> Better not be. Now nope, got a leaky faucet. Time to replace the faucet. Uh huh. I see you're already drinking some beer. Uh, you haven't even started yet. This is going to be a problem. Why? Because that hole for that faucet. Yeah. This one ain't big enough. What did you do? Put a hole in my head. Where's your bump cap? <laughs> Are you bleeding? Yeah, I'm bleeding. <laughs> I'm bleeding. Ah. <sighs> you just ain't working unless you're bleeding. That's right. That faucet looks like a three beer job. Are you sure you're done? Well, for right now, maybe. No, I still got to put the tools away and clean up. <laughs> no, another two beers. Easy. What you doing now, Dave? Changing the shocks. We're going to get the shock off so I can determine which ones I need. I don't think so. You think you might have to cut the shock off? Yeah, maybe. Look Kind of weak. Mm-hmm. To be holding all that weight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're pretty well spent. That's it. What you doing now, Dave? <laughs> I'm going to check my front brakes. On Leroy? On Leroy. See what the wear and tear factor is. You ever done this before? Negative. Oh boy, that pretty drum shot. <gasps> Two shoes, hook them together with the spring. Like that. And then you want to put it around it. What you doing now, Dave? The little wife wants pock lights up here. Woo! Wow! Like you said, you're going to need sunglasses to cook dinner. What you doing now, Dave? Going to install the Micro Air Easy Start. What's that? That helps the AC start with 30 amps. And we want to connect that to the capacitor to the lug we just removed it, the other white wire from. And then we take an orange wire from the Easy Start and connect it to the red side of the capacitor. Then there's a red wire on the same capacitor down here. You want to pull that off. I, I've yet to be to a campsite that has a 30 amp pole and not a 20 amp plug next to it. And so my solution is to run a cord from that 20 amp plug and isolate the living room air conditioner slash heat pump and all that so 
when I'm at a campsite, I can plug the 20 amp in, the 20 amp outlet, into just that AC unit, and plug the 30 amp into the rest of the coach. I put a selector switch in, right here. Dave's got his switch right here. He got it on two. Currently, the living room AC is running on the 20 amp plug at the post. That's right. So switch number two, with both ACs running, you're just running 13 of 30 amps, so you could run all kinds of stuff. Yep. Along with that. It's like being on a 50 amp post. Hook up. Almost. What you doing now, Dave? Well, the sink is starting to fall out, if you noticed. Ooh. So today, take the sink out, re-silicone it. Put the strainer baskets in. Uh -huh. Two new strainer baskets. So no more garbage disposal. Just use those. those yep. Yeah, no more garbage disposal. Okay. Zippy's battery is dead. And my winder's not working. What you doing now, Dave? Changing Zippy's battery. And that's where it's located. Under the feet of the passenger. Under the floorboard. Under the floorboard. I want you to know that this is three beers plus one just because it's hot out. Okay. And I've got to kneel down. Yeah. Understood. Y'all good with that? Good with that. What you doing now, Dave? He's changing his ignition switch. And there it goes. Just snapped it right in. Yeah. That start, off, key out, and auxiliary. like that. And putting a wrench on this collar. And you tighten it up a little on the ignition switch. What you doing now, Dave? Well, a couple subscribers on the YouTube channel said that uh, sticky brace could be due to this this hole here getting corrosion in it grease in the hole there it's all rubber bushing in there did you put the grease in that way last time no I just put it on the pin that's what I thought oh yeah look at that much better huh so there's our new laundry center and paid for installation but guess who's doing it mr. Dave yeah I gotta get a new vent so now back to Home Depot. Back to Home Depot. Dave's working on the faucet in the houseboat. Yeah, Dave is. And that wasn't all. Dave changed the shocks on the Suburban. He cleaned out the floor vents. He also changed the filters and the vent returns. Put a new seal on the refrigerator door. Replaced a cracked freezer bracket. He replaced the hydraulic fluid in the RV. He repaired a loose baseboard. He cleaned the roof on the RV and added a protectant. And he added a tie down to our sliding door in the RV because it kept popping open while traveling. He replaced a coax cable on the dish on the roof. And I'm sure there was more. I just haven't thought of all of them. And uh, hey, honey, yeah. will you marry me? I'm done getting married. <laughs> He's a keeper. We did manage to take the spiders out for a ride and have a little bit of fun. This is the Suches Loop that we did that's in northern Georgia. It's known as the Georgia Dragon's Tail. At the top of it is Vogel State Park with some beautiful views.
we got another one in there. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.